If there is a fundamental truth that every Christian ought to embrace, live in it and experience it, it is the truth of the Holy Spirit. And this day in our life conversations, I want us to explore who the Holy Spirit is. We'll be looking at that from the words of Christ in the book of John chapter number 14. My name is Reverend Daniel Gichana and I am the National Youth Coordinator for Deliverance Church. I'm excited to be part and parcel of this life series. So friend, welcome to the life series today. The book of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16, all the way to verse number 17, the Bible says this to us. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Jesus Christ is giving a promise to his disciples. He tells them, I am going to make a prayer. And the prayer I'm going to make is a prayer for God to send you another helper. Who is this helper? He tells us the helper that is coming is one that will abide with you forever. You've got to remember this. God gave his people a promise and Jesus as well said the promise that I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. And how is he able to do this? He's able to do this through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? Number one, the Holy Spirit is a helper. Jesus said, I will pray the Father and he will send you a helper. So whenever you're approaching the subject of the Holy Spirit, you've got to understand that the Holy Spirit is a helper. And I don't know where you are right now in your life or what you're dealing with, but I come with good news from the living word of God that the Holy Spirit is available to offer you help. Why? He is a helper and is a helper that abides with us forever. You've got to understand, sometimes in this life, friends will abandon us. Even family members can abandon us. Finances can run out and every promise we've received from people may never come through. But be encouraged that the Holy Spirit is a helper. Jesus then says, number two, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. He is the spirit of truth. What does this mean? It simply means this. If there is something the Holy Spirit rides on, it is truth. Wherever there is truth, the Holy Spirit is involved directly or indirectly. It simply means the presence of the Holy Spirit is entertained by truth. The Holy Spirit provides truth into our lives. The Holy Spirit stands by the truth. The Holy Spirit supports and propagates the truth. Now Jesus says the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Why? Because it neither sees him nor knows him. The sight Christ is talking about here is physical sight. And he says when it comes to the Holy Spirit, don't wait for the Holy Spirit using your physical eyes that is going to, to come and, and greet you or tell you I'm the Holy Spirit, I'm here. No, it doesn't work that way. He says, but you know him for he dwells with you. Now that is an environmental consciousness of the Holy Spirit. And then he says, and will be in you. That means the Holy Spirit operating in the life of a believer is not just externally, but more so also internally. So it's important for you. Consciousness that he is with us and most importantly, he's working in us. It's my prayer that the Holy Spirit will be a reality in your life and you will be able to journey with him because he is your helper. He is my helper. This is our life conversation and I trust that the Holy Spirit will begin to operate in your life in a greater dimension from the truth we've learned by the words of Jesus Christ. The Lord richly bless you.